got to speak at this luncheon today. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's today. today. I know. Oh, are you so uh, nervous? What are you going to say? I'm not totally nervous. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> but it's my it's my father-in-law's. He's part of this group of these uh, very successful businessmen. And uh, I don't know what time I'm supposed to be there. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Like, I, I got an email with it all in there like two weeks ago, and I've never opened it, and I can't find it. And so I'm like kind of, uh, I, I, I'm just a little unorganized, but I'm told that I'm going to be at this, some guy's mansion and I'm going to be sitting there at lunch. We're all going to talk. Oh, it's not like at a, at a hotel and it's and not it's like a mansion. You know, it's it's a, worse. Wow. Yeah. So uh, is it like you'll be up at a podium or is I it a know. round table discussion? I don't know, but I know that the 15 guys in the luncheon are gazillionaires and they just started this program where they bring in one family member from each person to come in and explain their career and their life. Well, they and laugh I, at them because they're And I'm the first billions. one that was chosen. <laughs> and so, and, and then, so what I've decided to do is surprise them. I'm going to be bringing them all hashtag love up t-shirts. That's and good. I'm going to ask them all to donate. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so, good. So we get something so, out of it. Yeah, I want to see what happens. So it's more of a pitch meeting for I you. I thought of this yesterday. For uh, them, what are they thinking you're coming in to talk about? They do stuff like, okay, they, they're powerful guys. So they get to go do stuff like they go hang out on Ronald Reagan's ranch. They go they go to the White House and get a private tour. They go do those types of things. Do you know what I mean? That yeah. normal person can't do. Like you might go to the White House and take the tour. They get to the White House and right. they go hang out and they meet the president. Right. They and do they those, go in the Oval Office and hang out. They do out that and, stuff. Okay. So, so uh, I figured while I'm there talking to them about however I got in radio, for some reason they want to know that story, then I'm going to be like, here's a love up shirt. Hey, this if is you season. feel like making a check, writing a check, write it out to John Jane Rich Cares for Kids Foundation. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and see what happens. Okay, but what about the... Uh, they, they're asking you for a little bit of a life thing, right? Like Not a, a little bit. Apparently, tell, I'm supposed to tell my whole life story. And you have how long to do this? It would, it's like two hours. Oh, my God. I know. It's terrible. Oh, my God. Are you going to go into like, okay, so I was born, and then I started watching TV, and here's my favorite TV <laughs> yeah. shows from back in the day. And That's I exactly name all, all I got. Them. <laughs> That's all I have. I don't, and then I, maybe I'll tell them the story of when I asked my father-in-law if I could marry his daughter, and he almost coughed up a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> So all these rich guys come together, right? They are all billionaires. They're all very yeah, they're successful, all wealthy. and they bring in a family member to some mansion to tell their. I bet you they all just get together and laugh about it after you leave. Throw <laughs> like, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what's happening. Or well, you're walking into like an eyes wide shut situation, which is what it sounds like. If it's yeah, a, that'd be it's great. A, they tie me up, pick up my clothes, and poke me with oh, a pull wow. stick. Yikes! Yikes! Yeah. I would say this is a big deal for your father in law to pick you. That has to be like a, an honor. Saying if he choked up the chicken wing and you asked. Mary yeah. Blake, yeah. and now he's asking you to come speak in front of yeah, his friends. That's a good that's way. A big of, deal. That's a, that's You're thanks, looking Kyle. at this all wrong. He's, be like, he's proud of you. He seems like a nice guy. I've never talked to him before. I think I'll invite him to the <laughs> sink. I'm going to have lunch with my rich friends anyway. No, he <laughs> Let's wants bring the to old show you off. I think he's really proud of you. Yeah, but what he doesn't know is like my father-in-law has never like seen me in action. <laughs> like I'm not a in good pe- public speaker. Yeah. yeah, like I don't know. I don't know what you he's expecting from me. You're just uncomfortable with it, but you are. Like you know, when you actually get going, you're good at it. Yeah, well, we'll see. Good. So Why do you need a pep talker? Here we I'm go. I'm bummed because I'm missing the the uh, the secret thing. The secret thing we're not allowed to talk about. That you already talked about that we got in trouble for. Yeah. Right. right. There's a most amazing thing of all time. In fact, I'm going to tell the guys. Let me tell you what I'm missing. I don't want to say what I'm missing today. You know, I don't want. There's don't something. Say there's it. something. Don't going, say it. Don't say it. I'm not. There's something going we're on not today to talk about. while I'm at this luncheon that is so private. It's Cloaked in secrecy. Exclusive for just the John Jane Rich show. I won't tell you what it is. It's a secret, secret thing. Very secret. Do you know we were even, not that we can talk about it, but there's even a secret location that was communicated to us, like, in the most cryptic way with codes and stuff on it. Every So, like, even if you wanted to show up at said secret thing, you wouldn't know where it was unless you got the secret code.